In two days, it'll be uh, 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. It's our nation's birthday. I'm a little nervous about this one. I woke up this morning, I was looking at my news feed, and I see this, uh, uh, this post from Piers Morgan. He's all nervous that uh, <clears throat> over 8 million firearms have been sold since March. Piers, once again, uh, doesn't understand irony. A British subject complaining that Americans own firearms cracks me up. You get it? <clears throat> because of all the things that the, the British did to us that forced a, a minority of people to stand up was try to take our firearms. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of firearms, I've been hearing gunshots, loud explosions, and there's been some fireworks throughout the day, every day, <clears throat> since these riots were happening in L.A., and I don't know, I can't say that it's true, but I got a, something sent to me the other day and I posted it on my uh, Facebook page. It's out of uh, some police department in uh, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> and it talks about how these explosions and gunshots and fireworks that we're seeing, apparently it's happening across the country. A lot of other people have written me and told me it's happening where they're at too. It's to kind of uh, get the population used to the noise so that on the 4th of July, these BLM Marxists can come out and kill white people. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, I'm always congested uh, when I do these for two reasons. Number one, I haven't talked to anybody in days, and I do this first thing in the morning, or I've just eaten. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have like some major health problem, right? <laughs> just throwing that out there. Um, Anyhow, so 4th of July, I don't know what to tell you. I would say keep your spidey senses turned up to 11, be armed, be vigilant, because uh, it's crazy. I'm seeing in my feed every day <clears throat> videos of these agitators just sucker punching people. Black people attacking white people out of the blue on the street. Elderly people. I'm seeing white punks all in black, Antifa scumbags screaming in the faces of people, elderly, smacking people. We've seen this for a while now. That's where the violence is coming from. Your average American, regardless of what color they are, where they come from, they're not violent people. Matter of fact, we own all the guns. I've said it before. There's enough firearms possessed in this country to arm every man, woman, and child right now, already. <clears throat> and we're still buying more guns. But you're not seeing all these crazy bastards being shot to death yet. But it's coming. It's going to have to come. Because we have no choice anymore, right? I'm not calling for that kind of violence. I'm not calling for a revolution. But I'm telling you, they're asking for it. A little bit, just a little bit more of a push. And they're going to get what they ask for. And it's not going to end well for them. And it won't matter to the elites, <clears throat> the establishment government people. It's not a left-right thing. It's not like all the Democrats are evil and all the Republicans are whatever. No, man. There's The people who've been in office for decades, it's their fault. It's not Trump's fault. None of this is Trump's fault. He's trying to get rid of these scumbags. you got people like George Soros and, and other people who own media corporations, don't even live in the country, <laughs> stoking these flames because they want chaos. They want it. I don't know why, I don't know if they're aliens wearing human skin suits who live off the blood of babies, which is why the abortion industry happens. <laughs> Not saying that. I don't know. Who the hell knows? you got to wonder sometimes. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, it's, this is what we see. It's crazy. So, I don't, I, you know, I'm talking to friends of mine that are cops. Now, mo at my age, most of my friends that are police officers, they're retired now. And I, I spoke with one the other day who was a cop in Patterson, New Jersey. And that's a shithole, if there ever was one. That's a dangerous place. I lived there from uh, fourth grade to eighth grade, and it was pretty sketchy then. I mean, I got fights all the time. And uh, it's even worse now. If you see the videos coming out of there, it's crazy. And uh, he's talking to me. He's telling me. He also does private security for celebrities and whatnot. And he's telling me, he's talking to other cops. They know what's going on. 
your police force, they're cucks now. They have all been cuckolded. They're not allowed to do their job. Their bosses don't stand up for them, and their politicians that give them their marching orders tell them what laws to enforce any given moment. <clears throat> They've thrown the cops under the bus. So it's kind of like the police are stepping back on purpose, letting this happen, because they want us to stand up and deal with it. Those of us who are law-abiding citizens, you know, for the most part, because <laughs> we are Americans, and all Americans, as a rule, are rebels. You're a rebel. If you're not, if you're just a statist, if you're just following along with everything the government tells you to do all the time, you're, you don't matter. Sorry. Because you should know, history tells you this, 3% of our population has the balls to stand up, arm up, and kick ass. I'm talking to you, particularly the veterans out there. Uh, you know, we're just waiting for the green light, right? That, that's basically where we're at right now with this. So uh, I was talking to him about it. It's like, what if, we, what, if, what if something happens? You're scared for your life. Remember that quote. You're scared for your life. If you have to take somebody out, you don't know what happened. Bunch of guys surrounding you start yelling, screaming at you. You kind of blacked out and you end up killing them all. You were scared for your life. That's a legal defense. That's all you have to say. And you will get away with it. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, where, that's where we're at now. So until some of these people... What I've been told by some of my cop friends is until these people on the streets start getting shot, none of this is going to stop. That's where we're at. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not even advocating it. I'm just talking about it. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. And uh, I, you're just going to have to weigh that out. You know, I, I hope you have a safe 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. Take the country back. Be good Americans. Take no shit. Come on. Let's straighten this shit out already. Until next time.